Now, convergence, divergence, what do we mean? Yes, everything's converging, but it's also diverging. I, was, I want to suggest to you that while a lot of things are converging, all true innovation that you do will be about divergence. It will be about doing something special and doing it different. Differentiating yourselves from the others. Having something which is absolutely right for that target group rather than just a billing model inherited from the first world. And convergence wins for the consumer when it makes life simpler. But often, convergence makes life more complicated. Put your hands up if you have functions on your mobile phone that you never use. Put your hands up. Okay, a sensitive question. Put your hands up if there are functions on your phone that you just don't understand. My friends, I want to come back to this as a problem in a minute. You see, you are the world's most technological people on the earth. You know more about telecom and mobile phones than anyone else, but most of you in this room don't understand the technology that you have in your pockets. I don't want to be rude, but I'm saying that this is an issue. It's a challenge at the bottom of the pyramid, especially. And most people want a product to do just one thing and do it really well, which is why the future will be many, many, many more products, as well as sometimes multiply functioning them. But who really wants a web-enabled fridge? I mean, really. You know, what a crazy idea. I've had web-enabled uh, dustbin in my, my kitchen for years. It's a complete waste of time. The idea is you click and throw. When you throw it away, another one comes through the door the following day. No, my friends, sometimes we go stark, raving, technology mad. And we lose touch with what is actually going to make individual lives better at the right price. And then we have the confusion over size. Telecom companies can't work out which way to go. We get smaller and smaller until we can't touch the device at all. And then we get larger and larger. Put your hands up if you've decided that the next phone device you get needs to have a larger screen so you can write on it more easily. See, uh, it's, we are being stretched, therefore, in two directions, and speech recognition will always be limited in a noisy place, which means we have to have a keyboard. Or we write, but you try writing on a little postage stamp PDA, it's almost impossible. So we're going heading for a world of keyboards, significantly larger perhaps than they are, and screens which are much larger than they were in order to be able to drive all of these new channels, information streams, and revenue earners at the same time as getting smaller.